What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful mild Tuesday. I'm doing well myself. I come across this particular situation right here and it appears that this sheriff uh, Bruce Zaskowski of Portage, Ohio is allegedly using voters intimidation rights. Okay. <laughs> How so? Well, what it is is that he went to his page on Facebook, told his followers to write down anybody in their neighborhood that has basically got Harris Waltz uh, signs in their yard promoting to vote, you know, obviously and what have you, to write down their addresses. And this is what he said. <laughs> if the laughing hyena gets in the office, in other words, if Camilla Harris wins, that will send the human locust to go and live with whoever is repping Camilla Harris, okay, as president. <laughs> now, there's some people there in Portage, Ohio, really didn't take too kind of this because they feel like they're being, you know, their rights violated as to who they want to vote for, and rightfully so. He has no right to do this, you know, at all, okay? But without further ado, let's check out this particular video and then we'll complete the commentary. Check this out. In Portage County, Ohio, near Cleveland, the local sheriff is urging residents to take down the addresses of supporters of Vice President Kamala Harris, suggesting he would send undocumented residents to live with them if Harris wins the election. Democrats describe the sheriff's statements as intimidating, and some Republicans aren't happy with him either. Morgan Trow with Scripps News Cleveland has more. There's controversy in Portage County as residents say they're now afraid to put up yard signs, all because of a Facebook post from law enforcement. Why would I want to put something in my yard to be targeted for? Portage County voter David Lindvay says he won't be putting up his Kamala Harris for president sign anymore. Neither is Sheila Longmire. Saying that he wanted to know the address of everybody that's supporting her, that's, that's crazy, that's scary. They both say that their county sheriff is trying to intimidate them. On September 14th, Portage County Sheriff Bruce Zukowski posted on both his personal and and professional Facebook pages saying, when people ask me what's gonna happen if the flip-flopping laughing hyena wins, I say write down all the addresses of the people who had signs in their yards. I could be able to vote for who I want to vote for without my, my safety being violated. Zukowski, a Republican running for re-election, continued in his viral post. So when the illegal human locust, which she supports, need places to live, we already have the addresses of their new families who supported their arrival. Do I have to be fear of my life because I'm not talking with you guys or what? I mean, this is kind of crazy because I'm I'm a different color. We reached out to Zukowski and the sheriff's office, but didn't hear back. The county GOP chairperson, Amanda Suffolk, sat down with us to defend his perspective. If it had been just boring, no one would be talking about this. So this puts it front and center. Is illegal immigration illegal? And um, do people within the county, within the state, care about it? And indeed they do. We asked her specifically about his remarks on the VP and immigrants. He called her a laughing hyena. So there's no racist statement in that. Of course he did. I mean, we've always had caricatures in politics. Still, she says this wasn't voter intimidation, just a way to start a conversation. Is this something that you should be fearful of? And, and no, he took artistic license, got some attention. Local officials on each side of the aisle are upset about this and Suffolk Cole's response. According to Tony Badalamente, a Republican county commissioner, there is nothing they can do to hold Zukowski accountable for spreading fear throughout the county. No commissioner has any authority over any other elected official in a county. However, he told us he's making a personal decision. He has resigned from his role on the GOP Central Committee, a position he worked at with Zukowski. When somebody says something that was just said uh, on Facebook for everybody to be proud to see, uh, that's very disturbing to the people in Portage County. This was the last straw that I just decided that I would walk away. Now, both Badalamente and Lenvey are going to vote for the Democrat running against Zukowski, John Barber. Well, yeah, I'm not going to vote for somebody that violates my privacy. In Kent, I'm Morgan Trow reporting. I don't know about y'all, but to me, yeah, that has some in connotations of 
voters intimidation as far as I'm concerned. You understand? Because, I mean, let's just say, for example, if he said this jokingly, there's going to be somebody there that's actually going to go and write down, you know, names and, well, addresses of people who got this sign in their yard. They're going to take it serious. I think the sheriff was wrong for doing this. And, of course, you know, that lady, you know, uh, vice president, GOP, whatever she is, is going to defend his actions, you know. But what this guy did right here, it wasn't right, you know, because he's impeding on people's right to vote for whoever they will, you understand? And, hey, they may as well get used to it. Trump is not going to win this election, and Kamala Harris is. And that's just all there is to you. You heard it from me. I could be wrong, but I doubt that I am. And I know a lot of them are going to be up in arms just because of that. They're already showing their true colors. You know, just by him somewhat low-key intimidating people about having Harris Walt signs in their yard promoting, you know, people to vote for Kamala Harris. That's just basically what it all boils down to. You see. That's my take on it, but I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. Do you think that old Sheriff Zakowski here was trying to intimidate, you know, uh, voters and into not actually voting for Camilla? What say you? Tell me in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe, people. And also, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.